Hey guys, this is Hubbard and in this video we will find out if a GTX 1080 is a reasonable GPU for a 1440p monitor if you still own an Intel i5 3570K. Spoiler, yes and no. Ha! And now you're confused and you'll have to watch the whole video. By the way, if you like this review I'd be thankful for a subscription or a like. Also feel free to ask anything that you want in the comments. In this particular example, the GTX 1060 is an EVGA superclocked 6GB model and the GTX 1080 is a Zotec Mini, which both are very small and cheap compared to similar cards. The i5 3570K I use was overclocked to 4.4 GHz to minimize the CPU bottlenecking. The OS is Windows 7 and I use 12GB of pretty old DDR3 RAM, of which one half is from early 2009, Jesus. But in my opinion RAM is absolutely overrated in gaming. Feel welcome to hate me for that statement in the comments if it pleases you. Before we take a look at the in-game comparisons I'd like to show you the results of the 3D Mark Firestrike benchmark which actually mirrors the expected performance difference between those two cards. Please note that my system is far from optimized and recording reduced the frame rate in all following tests by about 2 to 4 FPS, so you could achieve better results with a similar setting. As we can see the GTX 1080 is about 50% faster than the GTX 1060. The i5 is obviously not a bottleneck in this example, even though you will get a slightly higher score with a newer i5 or i7. The first game I tested was GTA 5 with very high settings, once again in 1440p. As we can see here, the GTX 1060 is at maximum load almost all the time and the i5 is almost kinda bored out. Whereas the GTX 1080 can outperform the GTX 1060 in the beginning of the integrated benchmark by factor 2 to 3. I have to admit I don't really know why that happened. Anyways, at the end of the benchmark we are back at the 50% performance difference. So in this case the GTX 1080 is an absolutely reasonable upgrade. By the way, if you come from an older GTX like the 760 or 650 Ti, whatever, both the 1060 and the 1080 will kick ass. But I have to say the 1080 really does an outstanding job here in the outskirts of uh, GTA 5. Maybe that's because there's not so much NPCs and stuff here for the CPU to render and to calculate. The next game I tested was Assassin's Creed Origins and it was the complete opposite of GTA 5. I chose 1440p again and very high settings. And Origins literally seems to eat cores as the i5 is at full load almost all the time and the frame rates are literally almost the same for both cards. At least in the 1440p resolution I chose. A newer i5 or even i7 would make a huge difference here. 
which is kind of funny because back in 2012 I actually had the same problem with Assassin's Creed 3 when I upgraded from a GTX 260 to a 650 Ti. The game back then didn't really care until I also upgraded my old dual core E8400 to the i5 3570K I use till today. Surprisingly the integrated benchmark seems to vary every time you use it so that's why um, those two screens don't uh, match up perfectly. And here comes The Witcher 3, which I had to test just because it's such an awesome game. Hair works off and all the settings to Ultra, we once again uh, will get a performance boost of plus minus 50%. With both cards, the i5 does a great job and isn't a bottleneck, except for when you are in the big cities like Novigrad, which is probably due to the high number of NPCs which are calculated by the CPU. In scenes where the i5 is bored out, the GTX 1080 outperforms the 1060 by up to 90%. Of course I also had to test PUBG which everybody seems to play these days. I chose high settings and 1440p which resulted in a 25-60% to 60 faster GTX 1080 depending on the area we are in. By the way, I just read that actually graphic cards might get a bit more expensive again because of that game. Because so many people want to upgrade their systems. Actually, when I tested PUBG, I finally had the, um, the feeling that the game gets more fluid now that they released uh, version 1.0, as both cards manage to almost obtain 60 FPS all the time, and that is in high settings and in 1440p. So in full HD, um, that should be no problem at all, even for the 1060, with an old i5 like the 3570K.
And last but not least, I also wanted to test an older game like Bioshock Infinite to see how the GTX 1080 would scale here. And once again, the 1080 is around 25-60% to 60 faster than the 1060, even though this time the i5 is never a full load. So the smaller benefit seems to be an engine issue. So, as a final conclusion to my tests, I would say that the i5 3570K is still a very good gaming CPU, especially considering that it was released in 2012. Unless you only play very CPU demanding games, of course. If you liked the video, I'd be very thankful for a sub or a like. Have a nice day and feel free to ask anything you want in the comments.